Big one. Good sign. Curse might be broken. Oh my god, there is a frog bite going on right now. Dude, I'm telling you, that swan is following me. What's up with all the animal creeping on me today? I've only got two fish in the boat. We're behind schedule. They haven't found the crankbait yet. Oh my god, first cast with a crankbait. Oh god, it's a big bass. I gotcha. And it's a big one. Well, big fish of the year, folks. Delta might be back. Yeah. Number five, get in the boat. Whew, that's a relief. You can have these two, three, four hour long periods where you don't get a bite and then boom, boom. Yeah, get a little call right there. They're setting up here. Keep going, keep going. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're going by the saying, you don't leave fish to find fish. We're out here again on the California Delta. You know, last couple of trips, been pretty good. I mean, the bite hasn't been epic, but eventually, grinding it out throughout the day, able to come across some fish, a couple of quality fish. That's just what happens out here in the spring when the weather's right, the conditions are right. So we're back out here. And you know, found a little pattern the past few trips. Shallow spinnerbait bites seem to be the most productive. Caught a few on the crankbait, and then of course, a couple of frog blowups, although they were misses. I think one of the cool things about fishing today is that though I imagine, and knock on wood, that they're still biting the spinnerbait shallow. Although I think I know they're shallow and what I can catch them on, I do have a few more baits to kind of experiment with today to try out just to see if we can figure out another pattern. And you might see, just glancing over my right shoulder, yeah, there's some stuff on the deck that usually is not on the deck, or the kayak, I should say, specifically some bigger baits. Yeah, I mean, I'm personally not one to throw big stuff. I don't have a lot of confidence in it. I know it obviously gets bit, and you can definitely catch a bigger class of fish doing it. So uh, gonna play with that a little bit today. A little chilly this morning, a little little breezy tide is moving out still so I think our bite window may have to wait till this afternoon when that tide comes in again man we're fishing it's the California Delta can't beat it keep it short and simple day of fishing out on the Delta take you guys with me we'll see what happens alrighty man let's get started start throwing different things engage these fish I don't know like I said last time was a spinnerbait bite but it took all the five hours to actually get on some fish and that's just the way the Delta is always changing little bite windows spurts so oh man oh what no interrupted me. I was trying to talk to you guys. Well, I brought the net for a reason today, just to handle bigger fish or the potential for a bigger fish, but I'll use it on the tuxedo. It wasn't first cast, so of course the first cast doesn't exist. This guy choked it. Dude, I thought you were the big old Big old bass. Man, every time I've caught a striper on the, the cull shad, it's absolute chokage. Hey, little keeper. Would have been good tacos, but you get to swim another day. Thank you for the fight. That was fun. I mean, I'm not going to say no to striper. I just like catching fish. So if the stripies want to play, I'm not opposed to it at all. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes the bite windows are weird out here and the fish change and I wouldn't be surprised if maybe we don't go a while without a bite. I guess a bass bite. 
black bass bite, but uh, it was one little stretch last time and I would go there, but just out here, it really doesn't matter. We'll definitely hit it, but it could be nothing today. And it could be a whole different stretch that we find fish or get on a bite, or it might be a struggle. I don't know. You just never know out here. That's the beauty of it. The beauty and the bad thing is like, if you do find a bite one day, you can literally come back the next day, do the exact same thing on the exact same tide even, and it could totally change. Cull shed fish, little fella, kind of out on the flat. All right, keep going with it. There's my swan friend. Every time I come around this area, he comes right towards me. He maintains like a 20 yard distance. Watch, this swan's literally going to follow me around. Look, right to me. <laughs> what, I'm leaving. He's puffing his feathers. Swans are more dangerous than the sea lions. Look, look at that. Always keeping like that 20 yard distance until I get out of his little habitat. Has anyone ever gotten attacked by a swan? I'm sure there's footage of it somewhere out there. If I hung around, I probably could, but we're gonna move on. This is the uh, bank that we got right on last time. I was kind of fishing up towards it where they were setting up last time, but we had a different tide now. Last time they were, I mean, they're in like a foot and a half of water. Started making some casts out a little off the edge. Didn't take long to get bit. And you know what's funny is right before that cast, I don't know, I felt like something was following my bait. It's hard to explain, but sometimes like when you're throwing this or even like a chatterbait, you can kind of feel a fish behind it. Like they don't have it, but you can like feel just the change in the way the vibration is. And I felt like a cast before that there was a fish behind it. Just didn't feel right. I don't know, weird. Okay, one fish still on this bank. Just gotta figure out how they're gonna set up. And right now, maybe a little more off. I mean, you can see right here, we're in three foot of water. Tide is still dropping. Our high tide today, I believe, is one o'clock or something like that, one, two o'clock. And anything really before 11 would have been a bonus. When that tide gets real high, that's when they really start to set up and bite. Just thinking, man, where did these fish go? They got smaller. It's not the same, obviously. I mean, that one was shallow. Said we're gonna mix it up today. Try some some goofy things, maybe unconventional or un unconventional for me. These aren't completely random. You just never know. I could have gone over a whole bunch of fish, and if I just had the right bait, right color, could have caught them. First time really slowing down today, though, just in case they're being a little picky.
All right, you can see tide is starting to creep back up. So incoming tide now. I'm gonna make my way back to the, uh, the one little stretch. Had a couple of bites and uh, to see if those fish are positioned better. Kind of what I expected. Keep grinding away though. These fish exist in the delta still? Dude, it was born last year. Seriously, I feel like that. All right. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's a bite. Last trip, I caught mostly everything on spinnerbait, except for one fish, which happened to be big fish of the day, and it was on a crankbait. Huh. Got the little ones. <laughs> All right, well, a little better. The big ones are not coming out to play today, so it seems. Whatever. At least we're starting to get bit again. Oh, man! What in the world? What the heck? You notice something different today compared to the last couple of trips? Brought the net. Last couple of trips, I didn't bring the net. Catching numbers, catching some big ones. They bring the net, all the small ones show up. <laughs> I always say I'm not superstitious, but I think I actually am. Mixed in a lot of baits throughout that stretch right there. All three were on the crankbait. I don't know if it's necessarily the color or maybe just the tight wobble, the action profile of this bait compared to the other stuff that at least the little ones are getting on. There's a better one. Oh, dang, that was a better one. That wasn't a dink. I'm not saying it was a giant. All right, I got some confidence now. We can start cranking. Look what we got. Delta the giants today. got a better one on the spinner jeez <laughs> not much bigger but man you think they want it that one choked it i don't know what's going on today i can't explain it can't really explain it random this is actually where we caught the big fish last time just down that way a little bit a little better one but not what we're looking for there we go there's a big one oh no wrong species fun. Pretty amazing how fast things can change though. Less than 48 hours since we were here fishing and it's like completely different. Multiple ways. the camera on. That one was not hooked in the mouth, just swiped at it. What I was saying is these fish are eating weird. 
thinking about the frog, but I don't know if they're going to come up to eat a frog if they're doing all these weird things today. Finally. I mean, it's not even that big, but it's a giant compared to what we've been catching. <laughs> that fish was right on the little ambush point. And when you get bit where you're supposed to, that's a good sign on the delta. Oh, there's a good one. Oh, giants. That's why the sea lion is here. Good striper. Come here, dude. You're safer in the net. Trust me. Whew. Seriously. Didn't want that sea lion to come over here and swipe this from me. There's a good striper. Man, where were all these striper the other day? Alrighty, well, whatever I guess. Yeah, they're setting up now, that's cool. are setting up. Here's our little bite window, I think. Man, almost three o'clock. Where does the day go? I'll tell you what. Day of fishing, time just goes so fast. I suppose that's a good thing. Hoping those better fish show themselves now. If we find the right stretch, I think we'll. Yep. Yeah, they're setting up good now. You see, they're in the obvious places. That's why the tide is so crucial out here. Not a giant, but a better one. If we come through the spot earlier, that fish isn't there. That fish isn't doing that. I don't know how much I can stress that. Like, it's weird unless you've been out here and you fished it before. It just, it might not make sense, but man, tide is everything out on the Delta. I'd love to go back to that one stretch that I know can be productive. I'd imagine those fish are all setting up and eating there. There's definitely some better quality over there, but it's just too far. Kind of drifted too far away from it. And it, I mean, just too much of a run to get there. Who even knows by the time we get there, those fish will be doing what they should be doing like they are over here. Mama. Testing the theory. Upsize the bait. Do we upsize the bite? Oh, 
Oh my god! Oh my god, it's a giant. That was one of the craziest bites I think I've ever had in my life. I think there's our answer. Upsize the bait, upsize the bite. Oh, that's good. That's a good sign right there. There's a nice one right there. That was one of the coolest eats I've ever seen. Man. Oh, dude, that was so sick. Yeah, I guess I gotta keep throwing this guy. Sheesh. Dude, that fish was up in like a foot of water. I mean, that bait does not sink very fast and it's just subsurface. You can look at it right here. Like, just kind of slow reeling it in. And that fish crushed it. Almost looked like a topwater bite. I have to throw this the rest of the day. Not much time left. Alrighty folks, just about five o'clock, back in the truck, all loaded up, ready to go home. But to quickly recap the day, as I mentioned, you don't leave fish to find fish. We were here less than 48 hours ago. Had a pretty good day. I mean, it took a while to get on fish, but the times I've come out here, if you just put a full day out here, seven, eight hours, you cover water, you keep making casts, you'll eventually run across the fish, you'll find that bite window. So I was optimistic. I knew there was fish here. I just had to maybe wait for that bite window, see what they were doing today. One thing that I can't emphasize enough though, is that the Delta is constantly changing with these tides, the weather, especially this time of year. Coming out today and doing exactly what I did last time, I really didn't think it was realistic. So I came in with an open mind, tied on a few different baits as well, just to experiment. And the day started out pretty good. I think it was like the second cast with that cull shad. Pitched into a clump of toolies, got thumped. Thought it was a largemouth, but to my surprise, is the big old striper. Okay, not a bad sign. It was a fun fish to catch. I'll take striper any day of the week. Fished a little bit longer. I think I picked up another small largemouth on the cull shed. Mixed in some other baits, but it was really a slow morning and that was kind of how it was the time we were here before. It was just a grind. You know, I was covering a lot of water, trying different baits, trying different areas. I finally made my way over to the one area that I had a lot of success at last time. I think I maybe picked up two spinnerbait fish, but they were smaller. So ran that stretch a few times. I knew that the tide would be a big deal. Finally get some incoming water. The tide was moving up and that's what I was hoping for. Wind did pick up. I moved my way into a flooded island. I may have picked up another one on a spinnerbait, but the big thing that kind of keyed me in on a little bit of a hint was getting bit on the crank bait. We had sunny skies, clouds parted, and it just didn't seem like they wanted the spinnerbait as much, especially with the water being a little bit cleaner, I think. And that uh, flat-sided crankbait, the fritz side five biggin, was catching fish. It even caught another striper, so definitely some striper in the system. That little flurry, that little stretch that I had, I was catching five, six, seven fish. I don't even know how many. All like eight inches. So a little odd, a little discouraging. The day at this point, not sure exactly what's going to happen. Only have a couple more hours left, but it finally did happen. I made my way back out towards some of the islands. Again, that water was still rising that tide was moving in and I think these fish just for whatever reason they like that higher tide they were starting to set up position themselves and I'm talking the better fish ended up catching a couple of nice largemouth doing it nothing big definitely smaller on the average size compared to last time thought I had a big one I threw past some toolies a slow roll on that crank that right by that toolie clump got smoked thought it was a big old largemouth but another striper so definitely uh, not only did the small fish come out to play today but the striper seemed to come out to play as well you know with just like 45 minutes left in the day. I figured, you know what? We had a couple of bites on the cull shed earlier. These fish are setting up on ambush points. They're kind of obvious in a way as to where to make your cast. So let's go big or go home. And that's exactly what we did. Definitely got some luck involved. You always have to make the right cast at the right time. Threw up way shallow, probably in a foot of water on the backside of an island. And as soon as that cull shed rolled past a couple of tule clumps, I got smoked. I mean, it almost looked like a topwater bite because that bait was just subsurface and that fish came out to get it. Wow, what a bite. Probably one of the craziest.
most exciting bites that I've had in a long time. And it was a solid largemouth. Another quality fish, definitely big fish of the day. Definitely a bonus to end. But that was it guys, that was the day. It was a struggle to start, it was a grind in the middle. And then uh, one big one at the end on a cull shad. And I will say, if you guys come out to the Delta this year, I would definitely have like cull shad or any like swim bait on because I tell you what, the times that I've actually thrown that out here, which hasn't been many, I always end up getting striper, like good striper too. And they always eat it the same way. It's like choked down their throat. So there's something about that bait that they just like out here. And again, you might catch good bass on it, but you might catch some bonus striper. So it never hurts to have it on deck. Guys, that is today's video, today's day of fishing. Whew, it was a long one, but it was definitely worth it. A lot of fun as always. And thank you for watching, for coming along. I'm gonna head home and I will see you guys in the next one.